This is the story about Maya civilization, a peaceful tribe, which is being brutally attacked by warriors seeking slaves and human beings for sacrifice for their gods. Will he be able to fight to survive and save his beloved family? Let's find out in this epic historical movie Apocalypto released in 2006. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more like this content. Spoilers ahead. The movie open up with Jaguar Paw. The main character hunts a wild boar with his father, brother, and other tribal members finally forcing the pig into a trap that punctures it with spikes. The tapir is put out of its misery by young Jaguar Paw, who then eagerly distributes its internal organs to his fellow hunters. He gave the heart to smoke frog, the liver to curl nose, the ears to coca leaf, and the testicles to blunt it as the target of a joke because he and his wife haven't had any kids yet. Flint Sky, Jaguar Paw's father, offers some remedial advice by handing blunted some red leaves known as Sonzo Leaf, which he is told to use next time he and his wife attempt. As they are celebrating the kill, a band of refugees passing through the forest, looking downtrodden. The leader and hunter of this forest, Flinter Sky presents himself and informs them of his status. A fisherman among them approaches Jaguar Paw and informs him that their village was attacked and that they are merely seeking for permission to pass. Before moving on, they trade food. However, Jaguar Paw is curious to find out more about what happened. His father silences him and they return to their village. Blunted returns to his wife, Sky Flower. Jaguar Paw goes to his hut and admires his small son. Turtles run before greeting his very pregnant wife, Seven, later that evening. The tribe gathers around an elder who shares a prophecy about a being who is consumed by an emptiness that cannot be satisfied despite having all of the world's gifts offered to him. The elder describes how man once received gifts from the forest until the forest had nothing left to give. The being will keep taking things without thinking until there is nothing left for him to take and there is no more world. The villagers begin to play music and dance but Jaguar Paw's mind is distracted until Seven brings him back. The next morning, Jaguar Paw wakes up early from a dream and a loud barking dog wakes up his wife, who is clearly pregnant. A tribe enters their village while carrying fire. When Jaguar Paw sees approaching fire torches in the village, the dog abruptly stops barking. He wakes up his wife and son and they begin to run for cover as the invading tribe kills many men and rape the women while leaving the children unharmed. Jaguar Paw lowers his son and wife into a cave where they can seek security. In order for them to climb out once more, he fastens a rope to a nearby rock. Jaguar Paw is spotted at the top of the cave by an invading tribesman who then charges at him in an attempt to kill him. Jaguar Paul kills him after he fights back. His pride overrides his wife's requests for him to descend safely, telling her that he must assist the others and promising to return. He is able to kill a few men, and the headmaster of the tribe that is invading breaks up the combat as he is about to kill another. Jaguar Paw tries to free his father, but a raider knocks him to the ground. While Middle Eye holds him up and cuts his throat, Flint Sky encourages his son not to be scared. Middle Eye, a raider nearly killed by Jaguar Paw, nicknames him almost. The youngsters of the, the village are left alone with just the dead for company while all the other captives are tied up and dragged away while tied to each other on long poles. A tribesman comes close to the cave where the jaguar is protecting his wife and son and checks to see if anyone is inside. He finds nothing, so he turns around and goes back. Zero Wolf, the terrifying leader of the Hulkanes, meets up with his son Cut Rock, whose right eye has swollen shut due to a head injury. In order to relieve the blood pressure and restore his son's vision, Zero Wolf makes lines in his brow. The men and women are led on a death march to the camp of the invading tribe. The next day, while treading a narrow path on a cliff, Coco Leaf, severely injured in the village raid, looses his footing and dangles over the edge. Jaguar Paw and the others manage to pull him back onto the path while Middle Eye watches with interest and goads them to regain their footing. He then cuts Coco Leaf free of his binds and shoves him over the cliff side. Zero Wolf berates him for losing one of their captives though Middle Eye asserts he was only dead weight. At night, the tribe stopped moving further and took some rest and Zero Wolf appreciates his son for his fight while the member of Maya civilization remembers their family. The group travels through a deforested land and failed maize farms where inhabitants lay dead, devastated by a plague, as they get closer to civilization. A young child who is ill and has sores on her hands and face approaches the crowd but when Snake Ink firmly pushes her away, she glances abruptly blankly in Jaguar Paw's direction. She then turns to face Snake Ink and foretells their demise, warning of a man who will bring those who will cancel out the sky and scratch you out, bring a jaguar in the darkness of night, and who is reborn of soil and earth. She claims that this man is currently among them. She calls to them again and the party moves on. They arrive in a city where laborers toil in limestone quarries, turning the extra white and dousing the structures in quick line. A laborer coughs up blood. Separated from the men, the captive women are sold into slavery. The soldiers are led through a tunnel where they come across images of human sacrifices painted on the walls. Women paint their bodies blue as they are led to the top of a step pyramid. 
Victims' heads are thrown down the stairs and gathered in baskets at the bottom. Jaguar observes as the first captive is killed by having his heart and the head severed. The same fate befalls Curl Nose before Jaguar Paw is brought to the sacrificial pedestal. He waits until the high priest stops because of a solar eclipse, seemingly accepting his fate. The priest pleads with the son to return as he informs the screaming crowd that their deity is happy. Although the priest and the Mayan authorities are aware that the eclipse will eventually pass, they still take use of the celestial occurrences to exert control over everyone and rivals. He then gives Zero Wolf the order to free the other prisoners. Jaguar Paw and the others are brought to an old ball court, where they are told to run the entire length in pairs towards the forest at the end with the cynical promise of freedom if they succeed. The fisherman and Jaguar Paw are then instructed to leave. Before running, Middle Eye grabs off Jaguar Paw's jewelry and throws it into the ground as a foreboding sign. The fisherman is shot in the head by Snake Ink's arrow, and Jaguar Paw is stabbed through his side, falling close to Blunted, even though they manage to avoid the majority of the shots. Blunted leaps and grabs Cut Rock by the leg, paying for Jaguar Paw some time until Cut Rock can finish him off. Jaguar Paw tears off the arrowhead in his own body and stabs Cut Rock in the neck after Jaguar Paw kills Blunted with a single strike to the head. Zero Wolf returns his blade and tucks his son's jewelry into his belt as his son passes away in his arms. And then he runs after Jaguar Paw, determined to take revenge. Jaguar Paw runs into a mass open grave containing the remains of thousands of sacrifice victims after running through a cornfield. He sprints through the decomposing corpses into the jungle, where he hides by climbing a tree while his wound is still bleeding. Under him, the Hulkanes move by quickly. When they are gone, he turns to see a roaring black jaguar cub. He turns to look as he hears a roar coming from behind him and sees the dangerous mother jaguar. The Hulkanes stop in the meantime after considering they have lost jaguar paws. But one of them notices blood on Middle Eye's shoulder. They backtrack while keeping eye on trees. They soon see Jaguar Paw running through the forest and Speaking Winds pursues him. Jaguar attacks Speaking Wind, mauls him to death before others arrive and kill him. Snake Inc. reminds him that the prophecy made by the weird child proved accurate. In an effort to track down and kill Jaguar Paw, Zero Wolf restrict them all. At one point, Drunkards 4 approaches a tree that Jaguar Paw painted blue, but as he does so, an ass bites him in the neck. Jaguar Paw is eventually caught up by the Hulkanes and is compelled to jump over a tall waterfall after being trapped. He lives and shouts to the Hulkanes from the riverbank that this is his forest and that his ancestors will carry on hunting there. Jaguar Paw manages to escape after falling into a muddy sinkhole while fleeing, then meets the Hulkanes as they approach and hurls a live wasp hive at them. While thunder rumbles above, he finds a poison arrow frog, gathers its venom on a few huge thorns, and waits for the Hulkane. Meanwhile, Seven attempts to escape the cistern, but the rock dislodges, causing her to fall and break her water. Jaguar Paw uses a blowgun to fire darts at Hanging Moss, who falls to the ground, attracting Middle Eye. Jaguar Paw and Middle Eye collide as they run at one another as each is eyeing the bludgeon that Hanging Moss dropped. Then Middle Eye swings his weapon, and Jaguar Paw only just manages to duck. Jaguar Paw grabs up Hanging Moss hammer and rises to strike Middle Eye in the temple. As Jaguar Paw strikes him under the chin to death, Middle Eye calls him almost for the final time. Jaguar Paw rushes to the cistern since it would soon fill with water when it suddenly starts to rain. Jaguar Paw turns to face Zero Wolf, who fires an arrow into his shoulder, and pauses at a particular location in the forest that he is familiar with. When Zero Wolf sets off the tapir trap, he gets stabbed by the device's jagged spikes. As Ten Peccary and Monkey Jaw come, he passes away. They chase Jaguar Paw to the beach where he collapses from exhaustion. In the ending scenes, Jaguar Paw holds his newborn kid as the rain stops, and are followed by Seven and Turtles Run. Seven inquire as to whether they ought to proceed to the Spanish ships as they turn to face them. Jaguar Paw says that they should, instead, go to the forest and seek a new beginning. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment what you think I should recap next and I'll see you in the next video.